Hello. Today we are going to make a hat with two faces. We have to inflate a balloon starting from the upper side end. To make it happen we stretch the upper side end of the balloon. And then we inflate the balloon. If the temperature in your apartment is about 90 and above Fahrenheit, the balloon inflates starting from the spot we stretched. In my apartment it is about 70 Fahrenheit right now. So I have to force the air inside of the balloon uh, from the nozzle to the upper side end of the balloon. Inflate the rest of the balloon. Make sure to leave about 4 inch flat tail at the nozzle side of the balloon. Tie the knot. The reason we inflated balloon in such a way is a very simple one. The first bubble we are going to twist is to make the nose. And I don't want a knot on the nose. Here is our 4 inch flat tail. Twist the first about 3 inch bubble. Or make it 4 inch bubble if you want longer nose. Ok, let's make it 4 inch. Twist the second soft about 2 inch bubble. Twist the third soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the third bubble in one lock twist. We twist the third bubble to make the ear. So if you like to make big ears you have to twist bigger bubble. Twist the fourth about 4 inch bubble. Twist the fifth soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. We have made the second ear. Twist the sixth about 4 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last three bubbles in one lock twist. Yes, in convenience. We have to keep hold on the first bubble until we lock it. Twist the seventh about 4 inch bubble. The seventh, fourth and the sixth bubbles. We can make them soft or firm. It's all up to you. Would it make difference? Yes. Soft bubble bends easier. It would make a head or part of the head a more round shape. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles and one lock twist. Alright, now we twist the eighth soft about 2 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last seven bubbles in one lock twist. Here we came to the fun part of the sculpture. We have to make the second nose to make the second face. We can make it small, nice, but I want to make it big and ugly. Twist the ninth about 7 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the ninth bubble in one lock twist. We have made the second nose. The rest of the balloon is a tenth bubble. It is going to be the neck. Now we just have to fix all bubbles in proper positions. First we are going to fix the first bubble, the nice nose. For the first bubble in the loop between the sixth and the seventh bubble, there is a nice good face. Now let's fix the neck. For the tenth bubble in the loop between the sixth and the fourth bubble, fix the second nose in the way you like to make it look the worst. It is a bad. Ugly face. So here's again the nice face. And uh, this is side view. And now we're going to use a permanent black market to draw the face. Here's the eyes. Something kind. Nice.
big smile. Yeah, here we made nice looking face. This time I purposely use blue balloon for this sculpture. This way it looks like a smurf. Now let's paint the ugly face. I reserve the eight and the second bubbles uh, for the ugly eyes. Do your best to make the worst eyes you can make. Rolling around, popping out eyes. Well, not really the worst I could make, but close to it. Now let's draw the toothless mouse. Reward it with couple teeth. This large nose need uh, big nostrils. Congratulations! We have made two-faced head. So this is ugly face. Here's a side view. Here's a nice pleasant face. The top view. Almost forgot here's a bottom view. We can attach this head to bracelets, hats and uh, different bodies. For example, we can attach the head to body 11. Just for the neck bubble between shoulders. We can always turn the head around to show the second face. I use this head to make Santa Claus, elves, smurfs, witches and all other weird human kinds. Just use appropriate color balloons for the sculpture. Have fun and happy twisted.